It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Marks and Spencers and it's a bottle of their Christmas white beer. It's by Brewery Hatched. Now I've been thinking of this name and thinking of this name and where have I tried their beers because I've tried their beers recently. And if I remember rightly, I was at Brew London in May and they had a stall, they had a little bar at Brew London. I reckon I spent about an hour of my time there because the beer was tremendous. It's Belgian ale, they do white beers, uh, doubles, triples, but they're a very, very good brewery. And I think that's the reason why Max and Spencers have chosen to go with them with this. It's described as a warm, warm spices and citrus. So that very classic Christmas look and feel to it. We've got a silver bottle cap on this one, 330 milliliter bottle. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Carrying on my theme with getting the price as close as to right as I possibly can, bearing in mind I only bought this beer yesterday, um, I'm terrible for not looking at the prices on the on the store shelves, but I believe this was about two pounds a bottle as of 2022. Now I reviewed Max and Spencer's Christmas beers from 2021, just last year. It feels like yesterday, it really does. Uh, but this is a new one. This is a beer that's been launched for 2022. Um, I'm dead excited to really get into this because I'm a big fan of Belgian ale, uh, Belgian craft beer. Those kind of, you can either get a big, strong Belgian beer, you can get lots of tremendous Belgian fruit beers, or the Belgians make some really good wits, which is, this is a wit, isn't it? This is, this is a, a, a Belgian wit, but they've rehashed it, Max and Spencer's Christmas white beer, which essentially means the same thing, because wit means white in Belgium. Feels like a, um, feels like I'm in front of a load of school kids and I got a big blackboard behind me and I'm like, White and wit means <laughs> white in both languages. Anyway, um, rolling around that yeast maybe in the bottom of the, the sediment at least, in the bottom of the bottle, trying to get it all into the glass. A lot of the flavour of the beer being unfiltered will have made its way to the bottom of the bottle. So it's very important to get that last inch swirled round in your bottle and get it into your beer. Don't be afraid that you've got a hazy beer because that generally means there's a load of vitamin B in your beer. We've got a one to two finger white head. Um, it's looking like a white beer, a darker white beer. It's like almost on its way to looking like an amber beer. Nice and hazy, slow moving carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Spicy, peppery, citrusy, very Christmas-like. Christmas oranges, you know, like Christmas fruit punches with spices. Christmas is a time of spices and citruses and fruits, strong drinks, peanuts, turkeys. I'm in a very jovial, I'm in a very kind of joyous mood this morning. Um, it smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Now I've just, oh, I've still got the beer behind them. Not even taking it away. I've just finished reviewing uh, Lord's Brewing Company's wonderful vice beer. In fact, I should have taken the previous beer review away. Um, I was so happy with the beer that I think I just left it all there. 
for people to see. But um, after reviewing a vice beer, getting into this kind of Christmas white beer from Marks and Spencers, you can be excused for thinking that this beer may be forked off in terms of the Germans brewed something with bananas and clove and spices and the Belgians brewed something with maybe orange peel and citrus and spices. So it's a very kind of like similar beer style. I don't mind holding the two beers up. If you look, they're both hazy. Vice beer, vice beer glass, wit beer in an IPA glass. But they're very similar in the haze, slightly different colours, but they've both got them lovely white heads on, on, on the beer. So you can, you can imagine that um, the Europeans, of course, travelled, and, and especially brewers. Brewers would always travel, and they would get ideas from other breweries. So the Germans probably had this idea of brew, producing tremendous vi what, vice beers, um, which it means white anyway. Vice in German is, 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 is white. So it all kind of means the same thing. Wit, white beer, vice beer. It's all in the same category. But it's what the country kind of defines as... Or what they... It, it, it's the only... It's the, the Belgians put their own stamp on it. The Germans put their own stamp on a vice beer. They're the similar kind of looks to the beer, but with slightly different appeals for different countries their own personal stamp on a product it's lovely it really is lovely it's very drinkable it reminds me of christmas i could drink it all year round not necessarily um of course, Max and Spencer are going to brand something differently. They're going to, if they've got the opportunity to call something Christmas around Christmas time, they're probably going to do it. White Christmas sounds very clever, sounds very good. But you can drink wit beer, white beer all year round. It doesn't have to necessarily be at Christmas. It's just that Max and Spencer decided... To label this one as a Christmas beer. I imagine if you bought this beer in March, it would be called Belgian white beer rather than Christmas white beer. But I mean, good on Max and Spencer's for for producing something different, really. I mean, if you went into Tesco, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, you got that same old what do they call it? Like Santa's socks or something or or Santa's beer or you know some like white reindeer or reindeer beer or you know and it's generally rubbish it's generally kind of like oh uh, another brown boring snowball Christmas ale that's just an ale which happens to be have a Christmas label on the front. Granted, granted, this is just a wit beer with a Christmas label on the front. But at least it's a wit beer, at least it's a white beer, and a good tasting white beer at that. So I'm gonna rate it. Looks good, nice lacing on the glass, nice look to the beer, nice and hazy, straw coloured. Look at that. Nice aroma. Lovely, spicy, orangey aroma. Now I'm really able to roll it around in the glass. And a lovely taste. Worth your £2. Definitely, all day long. A lovely beer that really shouldn't be reserved just for Christmas. Um, I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.